Hello everyone and welcome back to my video blog. On my previous topics, I've mentioned several new and creative ways for mature buyers, those that are 62 or older, uh, to purchase a new home and to find also a creative financing uh, to compete with first-time home buyer because they're downsizing and the first-time home buyers get in the market and some are also moving up to some area of uh, the same age, the different age group, right? Okay, so demographics is very important, as you know. I'm talking about first-time buyer and mature buyer, and um, I get some feedback. I say, hey, you know, Sean, who are those first-time home buyers? Okay, so based on a statistic survey from the National Association of Realtors, the, for the last four years, the majority, a big portion of uh, the buyers coming out on the market, 34 to 36% of those buyers are millennials. Millennials define are those uh, born uh, after 1981. So they, are, they, they will be 37 years uh, old to 17 years old. So 17 years old, of course, you know, uh, no, no one is going to buy a home yet. But, you know, uh, that's the age group of the millennial. Uh, are the biggest group, 34 to 36% of uh, the buyers on the market. Okay, out of um, that number of 36%, roughly two thirds are first time home buyer. We're talking about 24% of the on the market right now. They are first time home buyer and they are millennials. Okay, and the rest of the 12% of the millennials, uh, those are probably in uh, their 30s and then the mid 30s, they are the move up buyers. And a lot of those uh, move up buyers, uh, they are abandoning you know, the town home in the uh, downtown uh, area, moving out to suburbs because they are forming families. 49% of uh, those surveys have families, have children. So they like you know, the suburbs you know, where they grew up before, right? Okay, a bit more rooms, you know, maybe, maybe more like uh, um, middle America, okay? So demographics is very important. I'm gonna talk about you know, the 12% uh, of the population are the move up buyers, they are also the millennials. And the last time when I mentioned about the mature buyers, uh, what kind of percentage they represent on the market? They represent 12% on the market, you know, as a buyers. Okay, so you can see a coincidence of uh, move up buyers as well as um, those uh, mature buyers, 62 years or older, getting back to the market and buying on homes. Okay, so you can see the trend that, you know, uh, the mature buyer are selling their home, they're moving to a retirement home out of the area, out of state, or downsizing. And the Millennial, the 12% that already own a home and move in the suburban area, looking for a single family home. Okay, so you can see the, 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 the trend right here. Okay, 12% selling the home to move up buyer. Okay, and they go to a uh, downsizing to a smaller home or outside of the area. So today, topics that talk about uh, uh, demographics, and you should know, you know, who are your customer, right? So when we go sell on the market, you know, we should know who will be your next buyers to cater to the, the taste and the wants and the needs. Okay, so um, that's a topic that is very interesting when we start, you know, uh, the season of uh, selling and buying that will be starting pretty soon in the next two months, the market will be heating up. And uh, I'll be talking about, you know, different way to approach this market on several next topics. But these topics will be something to think about, about, you know, who are your buyers? Okay, so 36% are millennials, 12% of those, 12% um, uh, out, of, out, of, out of the millennials, they are move up buyers and 24% of millennials, they are first time home buyers. And then 12% of the 62 to 71, the baby boomers, the parents of, of uh, the millennials, they are on the market buying a home for the next phase of their life. Okay, so very in interesting thing that you should keep in mind. And until next time, I'd love to have a chance to talk to you. Shoot me an email, give me a call, text me. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you. Stay safe and stay happy. Bye-bye.